Welcome. We're excited here at BTC that you'll be using Talent Ed Perform to track and to, and to support your learning and growth this year as an educator. The system was designed with you in mind to make things easier and more efficient to both demonstrate your expertise as a teacher and also to get feedback from your supervisor. You'll be receiving a login and email from me, Rob Hess. And when you receive that email and you click on the link, you'll go to this page. I'm gonna share my screen now and show you page that you'll see. The page will look like this and what you type in right here is your email address. So you type in your, e your username is always your email address. And then when you log in for the first time, you click on this link right here, logging in for the first time. Don't type in anything under the pa your password. And when you type, when you hit the logging in for the first time, it will ask for your email address and you type in your email address, it'll send you an email. And then when you get that email, you, you will um, create a login. And then when you create a login and log in for the first time, your screen will look like this. Now this is a, a test account. So this is an example, a sample of what your account will look like. And as you can see here, this is the tasks that you'll, um, that will happen this year for you. You have a self-assessment form, a goal setting form, and then multiple observation forms around the various pillars of five pillars of exceptional teaching. The five pillars document that explains the pillars looks like this and there'll be a link to get to this document when you get your welcome email, when you get the email that says, welcome to, um, to Talent Ed, the, the five pillars, you'll be able to get this document. I'll also send this to you uh, at, in an email as an attachment so you can refer to it easily. So I'm not gonna go over this right now. This is a kind of a presentation in itself, but this document explains the five pillars that you'll be evaluated on. This video is simply to show you how to use the system. So the first thing you're gonna do when you log in is you're gonna to go to this form, self-assessment, and complete it. And this, the five pillars is built on positive relationships is pillar one. Pillar two, high expectations. Pillar three, quality curriculum. Pillar four, engaging instruction. And pillar five, meaningful assessment. I'm gonna, and I'll add a link here at the top to get to that other document. When you complete this form, You'll add in whether something is a strength or an area that you want to grow in. And you'll add that for each item. The difference between a strength and a growth opportunity is a strength is something that you feel real confident in both your training and ability to, to hit that target 90% of the time that you're, you're without any additional um, support or help, you're, you're right there. When you fill out these performance targets, a growth opportunity doesn't mean that you're not very good at that. It just means that's an area you wanna focus on for this year. So that's an area that, that uh, you wanna get better at. Now, the way the system's designed is that you don't get better at everything all at once. You take things one at a time. So you might wanna choose three or four areas 
five areas that you want to grow in, or you might select multiple growth opportunities. But then when you get down to the bottom of this page, when you reflect, you just explain that. In this box, you're going to reflect on the areas that are strengths. So if you've marked multiple areas as a strength, you'd write down why you feel that you're, you're um, highly confident in your ability in those areas. And on the performance targets that you'd like to grow in, you would explain why that you um, want to focus on that during this year. This will help your supervisor, your evaluator, know how to provide you support not only to you, but to everyone at the school. Once you can, you can save this, save progress and go back to it. You don't have to complete it in, in, in one setting. If you hit save progress, it'll just save it for you. And then when you're done, you can go back and submit it. So that is the self-assessment form. And you'll notice that anything that's been opened and looked at has a little blue dot right here that says draft in progress. It's probably hard to see that, but draft in progress. The goal setting form, the due date on the self-assessment is the end of September. The due date on the goals is October. These are the first two things that you're gonna do. This goal form is built on state requirements for SMART goals that the state requires every teacher to set two SMART goals, student learning and growth goals, and one professional goal. So this form will take you simply through the requirements of that state requirement, the target population, baseline data, the standard you that you're um, based on the goals on what content area. This is important, what assessment you're using, whether it's uh, in a state ELA or math assessment or something that was commercially developed, maybe from a curriculum you're using, something that you may have locally developed. And you can also use portfolio or artifacts if you're teaching music or, or art, it can be a collection of student work of some kind. So a lot of different ways to assess students. So it will take you through both goals, real simple. Then after you've completed that at the bottom, here is the, the different learning targets. And again, this will help you to and this is a way you can get to that, the handout I showed you, this one right here. By clicking on this link, it'll take you to this document. So that's another way to get to that document. And this is important to let your supervisor know how they, what kind of support you're looking for. So once you submit this, again, you can save your progress and come back to this document. This is, again, you don't have to fill out all in one, one, one session. And on every form, you'll have opportunities to add uh, attachments, like you could add your assessment that you're using. By clicking on this link, you uh, choose the file, you would, you would uh, it asks you to add your something, uh, a file from your computer or your G drive. And then the artifact piece is uh, a file or a, a URL if you had a, a link to something. So that would be an artifact. So there's just different ways to, uh, to add things to, every form has the opportunity to add things to it. So, so if you wanted to show the assessment you're using, you could upload that. Once you submit this um, form, it goes to your supervisor's inbox. Everyone in the system has an inbox. The inbox is right up here. And when you need to sign something, there'll be a little red number here that reminds you to sign it. You'll also get an email. If you're ever using the system and something's not working, you can 
always click this little button here, this little HR button, and that will send me uh, an email message to support you. Most of these documents are all generated by, all the pillar documents are generated by your supervisor, but I put them here as a shared form so that you can see what they look like. So your supervisor completes this form. So there's nothing for you to do here, but this will show you what that form is. And you'll have an opportunity to reflect on the feedback you get once it gets completed by your supervisor. There's also a lesson planning document that you'll complete. This would be prior to an evaluation. Uh, no, I'm sorry, an observation. So when a supervisor says they're coming in for an observation, they want you to fill out a lesson planning document. This is what that is. You talk about the standards you're using in that unit and lesson, which pillar might be um, something they would see. how you might highlight those, any learning targets, essential questions. You'll notice that some of these are required and others aren't. This is a not, this is not a required part of the form either is this, this, this box, but your learning target and essential question is required, how you'll make this lesson relevant to your students what engagement strategies you'll be using, any summative assessments you'll be using or formative, what kind of success criteria you might have for this lesson. Differentiation, this is a, a not required. Any other resources and any comments. So some elements of the form are required and others are optional. Once you complete that again, supervisor can see that and then they can refer to it as they're observing your lesson. The system was designed for efficiency and effectiveness in mind so that you can get the feedback you need to improve. Remember, there's three types of feedback. There is appreciation, coaching and evaluation. Appreciation is letting uh, someone know that, that you appreciate their effort. And that's a way of thanking them. And coaching is when you provide specific instructions and directions to someone to improve. And then evaluation is a, a ranking or score of some kind. And if you're a probationary teacher, you will be, you will be evaluated on these pillars every year of probation, which is three years by March 1st every year. And if you're a contract teacher, you'll be evaluated once every other year by June 1st. You'll also be asked to reflect on your goals at the end of the year. And that would be the progress towards the student learning goals that you set. This is a simple reflection, what progress you made, what's your next steps. Remember, that the goal of, of goals is to stretch ourselves and to, to um, help all our kids learn at higher levels. So that's the system in general. Under my folder, there's, you can also go back and see previous things that you either submitted. So once you submit the self-assessment form, you won't see it or the goal form, you won't see it under tasks anymore, but it'll be under history. So when you click on the history tab, you would see it. So this hasn't been done, that's why it's not there. So that's history. And then you can also put under this evidence tab, you can upload, you can add artifacts to your folder. So if you wanna add a file, this could be a lesson, an assessment, 
if, if you add an artifact to any form, it'll show up here. So if you, if you added artifact to the goal form, if you put your assessment on there, it would show up on this page. You could also add links to web pages you built or other resources you, 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 you've been using. If you find something really good and you want to not lose track of it, you want to keep it with your, with your, your work, you can click this link, put it here and it's, it, stays with this folder, with your folder. Supervisors can also, can also give you notes in the system. And if uh, any notes are provided to you, then those, those and shared with you, then you can click on the shared notes and they will appear here. And that's the evidence folder. So that's the system in a nutshell. And I'm here to help and support you. If you need any, any support, you can always click on that email box. You can email me or you can uh, let your supervisor know that you need some help or support and they can get a hold of me as well. Once again, thank you for uh, your time and attention and don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great school year.